There is a fine line between a smear campaign and an incitement to violence. If Senator McCain and Governor Palin had not previously crossed it this week, today even, they most certainly did. He had launched his political career in the living room of a domestic terrorist. A domestic terrorist. Domestic, domestic terrorist. Domestic terrorist. Who is the real Barack Obama? Donald! Someone that, you know, cohorts with uh, domestic terrorists. Palin's supporters began to hurl abuse at reporters. One even shouted a racial epithet at an African-American sound man for a TV network. One woman hollering, quote, bomb Obama. Terrorist, treason, off with his head, kill him. Barack Hussein Obama. Barack Hussein Obama. Obama's a Muslim, he's a terrorist himself. Obama's a terrorist, don't you know that? I think he's a one-man terrorist cell. I think he is. You do? Why? He's got the connection. And he is a Muslim. Who's the terrorist? Obama. Do you like to go and talk to the crowds? I do, I do. I like reading their signs. I like hearing that message that they're sending right back to me. I'm, I'm sure that some will say, geez, they're getting kind of negative. No, it's not negativity. It's truthfulness. <laughs> this is little Hussein. <laughs> little Hussein wanted to see truth and good Americans. There's an anger and a demonization that leads to a climate of violence. You can't cross that line to the point that you're disrespectful of the diversity that this nation has gone through. McCain, I really think the next time somebody says traitor, really needs to say, excuse me, my friends. He's not a traitor and he's not a terrorist. I will not stand for these hateful remarks. I'm waiting for that and I'm afraid I'm going to be waiting for a long time. There is this free-floating sort of whipping around anger that could really lead to some violence.